lovelies! I hope you're all doing well. I feel like it's been forever long since I've had a chance to sit down and record a video for you all, but there's some really great lighting, the sun is out, there's a nice breeze, it's just a really great day. So I really hope you all are enjoying your week and just the start of spring and just spring in general. As you can see by the title, I am back today to share with you all my first impressions, mini review, all that jazz. You all know, pictures and swatches on a very new product. This is on the Bite Beauty Watercolor Lip Gloss Library that was recently released. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that one of my Sephora managers who remembers me, I can't believe she still remembers me, I ran into her on Sunday and she says, oh my gosh, I have something for you. And I was like, what? <laughs> what could you possibly have for me? I, I really was thinking that maybe like an Easter egg or something. I don't know because it was Easter. And she actually gave me this. So... I first of all can't believe she still remembers me, but then again, she she's the one that got me my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette as well. So she got me this. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'm doing my review. It's Thursday now. I've been trying this out since Sunday, and I do have my first impressions, and I want to share them with you. It is online at Sephora.com, and you can also find this at your Sephora Inside Juicy Penny and free standing Sephoras. But I wanted to make this video now because it is before the 15% off. I'm not sure if it's 15% off for everyone, but I know it's 15% off for VIB Rouges, which I am a VIB Rouge. Anyways, enough chit chat for now. If you are interested in seeing my Bite Beauty watercolor lip gloss library review and swatches and all that, then keep on watching. So like I mentioned earlier, this was a gift, but I am not being paid or sponsored to say certain things about this product. I always have to keep it 100% with you all real. I know that we work really hard for our money, ladies. I know that, and makeup companies are killing us. It's like, okay, holiday's over. Okay, break, and nope, here comes spring, and then, oh, here comes summer, and then here comes fall. All these collections are coming out. It's killing my bank account, believe it or not, ladies. It's, I know, the struggle's real. But, like I said, I always have to keep it 100% with you all real. This is based on my experience with the product. It might vary from you, your friend, whoever else is watching this, another beauty guru. It just, this is just my own experience. So take it as that, my own experience with this product. I always have to mention that because I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. And if I can save you a couple of dollars or if I make you splurge, well, hopefully for good reasons. I haven't made a Sephora order, no joke not gonna lie i can't even show you all my sephora whatever but i have not made a sephora purchase online in store whatever since last year believe it or not since last year i have not made a purchase and we're already in april so that's a pretty big deal for me but now the 15 percent off sale is coming up at least for vib rouges so i think i'm gonna get a couple things but anyways, that was a completely random subject. But I have heard that Bite Beauty has released these lip gloss libraries or library sets or something like that. But when I first saw this on Instagram, I said, and I think it was the collector inside of me saying, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I have to have it. I have to have it. And then I finally saw pictures on Christine Tantalia's blog of the swatches of it. And I couldn't believe it. I think my more rational side was like, I can't believe you wanted to waste that much money on this because this isn't cheap. Well, I don't think it's cheap. I mentioned this in a couple of my videos, but I'm definitely not a lip gloss kind of gal. Some of you might be, some of you might not be. It just really depends on your preference. Or some of you might be lip gloss and lipstick types of gals. But I just saw these. Look at this. Isn't this the prettiest thing ever? super pretty you can definitely be taking instagram pictures with this you know springs here really pretty pastel colors but then i saw the swatches and i said i can't believe you're gonna waste your money on that but here i am i'm so thankful i think i really wanted to get this regardless to do this video for you all and you know if i didn't like it then i would of course go return it but here it is so i'm so happy <laughs> i am wearing one of the lip glosses on my lips and today is thursday it's my day off finally Ho hopefully you can see can you see that i do have a little bit of color on my lip i'm not gonna get too close to the camera because here we go tangent time again my face has been extremely extremely dry these past two weeks but i think even drier this past week and i think it's because 
If you follow me on social media, then you know I haven't been really posting a lot. And there are times where I post pictures frequently and then I don't, at least on Instagram, for like a week or two and then I come back. Usually because I'm traveling. I think that's the reason why my skin has been getting super, super dry. It's been getting insanely dry. So, oh, I haven't mentioned, oh my gosh, I've been talking and, tan and going on tangents so, so much. Do apologize. But... I am gonna go back home week, so I'm gonna try and record a bunch of videos for you all and have those all ready because I will be going back home. I'm so excited. Maybe do like a Korean beauty haul or something like that. But anyways, that's completely random. So I am wearing one of the lip glosses and I applied it around maybe five hours ago and I have done my errands. And I've also, I had some pita chips. I'm not gonna lie, I had some pita chips and two quesadillas on corn tortillas okay i don't like flour tortillas and i'm gonna drink some what is this called sparkling water or something so you all can see it right here and i'm not gonna tell you but hopefully you can see i still have the lip gloss and that's for me that's pretty surprising because most lip gloss that i've tried maybe i've just tried some cheap brands or something it wears off but look i i ate i had a drink and i will drink a little bit more but yeah, I am wearing one of them, but now that you all hopefully you can see again, I don't want to get too close to the camera, but hopefully you can see that I do have lip gloss on, but I'm going to try and swatch as many as them, the darker ones on my lips. Just take it off ahead and put on some chapstick to get my lips ready. I really, really want to start incorporating lip swatches, and I know a couple of you have been requesting me to do so. The thing is, and I'm not trying to be mean or what have you i really really want to do it but my lips are so so dry and they get chapped so easily and i've been reviewing so many lip products i think that's what it is because i'm gonna be honest i really don't wear lipstick lip gloss on a daily basis unless i'm doing a review for a video and i don't really like doing reviews right off the bat like i get something on monday and i'm gonna film a video on tuesday i honestly think there's no point in that i think maybe just a swatch video but i don't like doing those so i like to take my time and review things for you all and then give you all my honest opinion like this i could have recorded it a couple days ago but i didn't want to i wanted to try them out more i want to try more colors and you know all that but like i was saying i really want to do lip swatches but my lips i guess are not used to using a whole bunch of products every single day that they are super dry and they get super chapped and it's just it's not working out so i do apologize about that i really wish i could do lip swatches for every video but think about it like all my mac calls that would just be i'm sorry maybe that is something that i could start doing in the future but right now i will just try my best to do what i can let's get on with the lip swatches okay this first lip gloss is this really pretty pastel yellow color and it is called one and I will go ahead and swatch them first and then show you all the swatch. Next lip gloss is a pretty pastel pink color and it is called 2. Next lip gloss is a light purple color and this one is called 3. This one is called 4. In case you are wondering, here's a comparison. The top one is 3 and the bottom one is 4. And this next lip gloss is called 5 and it matches my nail polish as you can see. It's a very pretty light mint color. Very nice. The next lip gloss is called 6 and it's more of a pink lip gloss with a little bit of peach. It's definitely not a true pink. This lip gloss is called 7. Called 8 and this one is definitely more of a peachy coral color. Here, the top one is 6 and the bottom one is 8, just in case you were curious. This next lip gloss is called 9 and it's a very pretty deep purple. It's called 10 and it is a really pretty pink. Next lip gloss is called 11 and it is a really pretty magenta color. Last lip gloss is called 12 and it is a very vibrant purple color gorgeous those are the lip glosses and the pictures that you will see are going to be swiped or swatched one time only i did it one time some might be more pigmented than others that's just the way it is <laughs> I'm 
going to do some live lip swatches for you all and I'm going to do maybe three or four of them and I'm going to do some of the light ones, some of the peachy colored ones, and some of the dark ones just to vary it out. So I'm the first one I'm going to swatch is four. It's the pretty lavender color. That's one time, and I'm gonna go again. It's two swatches, or two times swatch, I don't know how you wanna. And that's actually pretty good pigmentation for this color. I think that's pretty good pigmentation. Not sure what you all think. I don't know when I would rock this, personally. But, <laughs> there it is, so. That's two swatches. Next, I'm going to swatch seven on my lips. So that is one swatch. I did not put the brush back in the product. This is just one time. One time. So let's just do, you know, personally I'd be okay with this. Let's go ahead and do two. So my camera just cut off, but I promise this was only two, two times put in the, I don't know how you want to call it like swatched or put in the product. So I think that's really good pigmentation to be honest. Please excuse my messy filling in. But I think, you know, I think that's pretty good for a lip gloss to be honest. I don't really, I'm not, I've said this many times, I will say this many times still. I am not a lip gloss type of gal, but you know, I want to give you all the proper review first impressions of it. And this is how it looks two times swatched. This happened to me before, so I have to mention it. The little, do you see that? The plastic comes out when I roll it. Here, I'll show you. So do you see this? It's not supposed to be like that. It comes off when I, I don't know if I do it. I don't even know how that's possible, but it does come off sometimes. So that's a little, mm, let's see. You see it? You see the plastic? Yeah. Yeah. So. That's just something I noticed it happened to me once before, so. Anyways, let's try on 11. This is one swatch. This is one time. I think this is really nice. Just one time. I'm actually very impressed. I haven't tried this one. I've tried pretty much all the other ones and I try to pick out colors that I haven't used on my lips yet so I think this is really nice I don't know what you all think let me know which ones are your favorites or if you'd like any of them so I'm gonna do it second time I personally think this is one time is great but here you go that is two times applied on my lips very nice. I am perfectly okay with one, but there you go. Okay, last but definitely not least, I will be doing number 12, so let me take this one off. You know what I like? That these are very easy to remove. And maybe because I've been trying matte lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, but this is very easy to remove. And they're super pigmented. Okay, well, at least the ones that I've been trying, right? So number 12, here you go one time okay this one's not as pigmented real talk yeah eh, it's not yeah this this is not I'll try my best but I tried my best to take off all, all the product that was on here let's try and do it two times see if that makes it better that is 12 swatch two times on my lips let's be honest lip gloss very sheer from what I you know have experienced and used other lip glosses very sheer I think this would be pretty accurate but the other ones the other ones that I tried on with you all were very pigmented and wow they showed up like really great this one it's a lip gloss took off 12 and I went back to 11 and this is one time one time swatch on my lips and I'm gonna, there's someone take another sip 
this one a bunch came out but it's still on my list as far as my review goes when i saw swatches of these and i tell you all all the time don't necessarily believe what you all see on youtube here on youtube or on blogs pictures what have you because someone can have the best camera dslr what have you and it'll still look different or be different for you all so i definitely encourage you all if you have a sephora nearby definitely go to your sephora or sephora inside jc penny and go swatch these out before you purchase if you can now like i said when i saw those pictures i and i know i should take my own advice right but i saw those pictures and i was like no it's gonna be a waste of money i shouldn't get it yeah 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 but i'm really glad that i got this as a gift or else i, would, I probably would have reviewed like i mentioned earlier i probably would have reviewed it for you all but you know i probably wouldn't have been really excited about it i'm actually very very impressed by this set going into the review i didn't think much of i thought they're gonna be lip glosses they're gonna be sheer it's just gonna be a gloss lip glosses that's what i think of when i think of lip gloss i think of really sheer just kind of like a little bit itty bitty itty bitty bit of color so as you all saw in the live swatches a lot of them are pigmented like this one i can't believe it something that i do have to mention and i i do apologize i guess i did not mention these do have a smell since sunday i was like what does this remind me of and it's been so long since i've had gummy bears these smell like gummy bears they're some kind of candy but <laughs> i don't know if that's your cup of tea some of you might not be into that but just an fyi they do have a smell i am really really impressed this is definitely a splurge i really like when companies make sets big sets because even a lot of companies have just been releasing lip gloss and lipsticks liquid lipsticks time out and i'm like why can't you just make a bundle and they probably will during the holidays but right now i'm impatient and i'm like why can't you just make a set and i think this is great i didn't have many expectations high expectations for this but i was actually very blown away and you all saw in the live swatches i'm not just saying it i showed you all for a reason because i wanted you all to see it for yourselves that you know, I'm an NC40, you know, I do have a little bit of color, I'm tanned, obviously. And these show up really great, look at them, on my lips. And this is one time. I didn't have to dip the product back in, this is just one time. Of course, it's going to be different on everyone's skin tone, preference, what have you. But for me, I actually am really, really impressed with this lip set. I'm really glad that I was gifted it. And even if I wasn't, I would definitely go out of my way and purchase this with the VIB sale coming up. So... I would definitely recommend this if you did pick this up or you're planning on picking it up let me know down below and if you have had it for a couple of days let me know how you like it swatch wise as you saw in the pictures nah it wasn't really that I was just like and I'm looking at the swatches right now on my hand I'm just like really you would pay that much money for it but I'm so glad that I did the live swatches well some of the live swatches with you all because you can see it, they're very nice that is my review again this is coming from someone who does not like lip gloss i very much if i do have to pick a lip product i would much rather pick lipstick but these are pretty pigmented for what they are lip glosses the ones that i showed you on the live swatches they are pigmented it just depends on your preference do you like these type of colors do you maybe have other colors that are similar to this in which case, again, I recommend you all going to your Sephora or Sephora and say JCPenney and swatching these before you decide to splurge or not to splurge. But definitely do take advantage of this sale, Sephora sale that is coming up. I think I am going to haul a couple of things. So if you would like a video, let me know down below. And if you did enjoy all the pictures and swatches and my first impressions and for the first time ever, my lip swatches, then please give this video a huge thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and everything down below. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all super soon. Bye everyone.